all right well hello and welcome welcome and hello you guys today is thursday which means that it is vlog day and i'm here and we're vlogging and i can't do that thing anymore where i put all of the time stamps down here in the description but for anybody watching on the replay all the time stamps should be in the description down below so last week with some things that happened with obs and some things that happened with youtube i wasn't able to like keep up like actual timestamps like I usually do. I usually try to like get those timestamps, get them up, save them, do them, do them. But when I went back to put in all my timestamps, they were all the most wrong that I think a timestamp can possibly be. So it's one of my subscribers uh, and I, I'm bad with names. One of my subscribers took it upon himself to do the timestamps. So sometimes Sometimes the timestamps are pinned to the top comment there because one of my wonderful subscribers did the job that I should have been doing and got all my timestamps. So sometimes they're pinned to the top, sometimes they're in the description. But regardless of that, welcome everybody. I think we have a pretty full vlog tonight. I got all of the segments planned that I want to do. We definitely have a retro vaping. We definitely have a liquid tasting. We definitely have some favorite comments of the week. I do have one kind of interesting article that I wanted to read and discuss maybe a little bit. We're going to talk about what I've been vaping. We're going to do some viewer mails. We're going to wrap it all up at the end with the super chat. And I am going to do my best today to keep this vlog right at two hours. That's the goal, everybody, right at two hours. But welcome. Welcome to everybody in the chat. Welcome to everybody on the replay. I think this is going to be super fun. I'm stoked for tonight's vlog. I'm honestly really excited about the... Uh, I'm really excited about the, the peanut butter liquid. We got some peanut butter liquid last week. And again, I'm bad with names. I can't believe I can't... I have two things this week that I don't remember the names of the person that sent them to me. And if I was... I don't know, a little bit more organized as a person, I would have had their names like written down in like a notebook or something responsible like an adult would have, like a ledger or something. But as it stands, I do that thing where I go, oh, wh what was this email from? Oh, that guy's name is Dave? I'll remember that. <laughs> of course I'll remember that. I'll remember the name Dave. And then guess what? I just never uh, I just never remember anybody's name and it's awful. But one thing that I want to do, let's kick this vlog off properly. I want to do that thing that's my new favorite thing to do where I hear from one of my subscribers. So right now I would like to hear from this gentleman except, okay, tonight's just going to be the vlog of not remembering or recognizing anybody's names because this is another perfect example of this video file where he doesn't even say his own name and so I just have to call I just have to call you mystery mystery beard guy also with glasses and tattoos I'd like to hear from that guy right now just want to give a huge shout out to John Hollis he's uh one of the members in the neighbor fam I put a post out about a couple about a week ago looking for a brass recoil, which he happened to send me along with three other atomizers, uh, one of the Wake Mod Co. Uh, tanks, the RTA, uh, one of the Coil Art uh, Mage GTAs, and then uh, one of the Alpine RDTAs. I've been wanting to try all these for a while. Uh, I only really asked for uh, the recoil and he happened to send all this to me for free because I'm a stay at home dad. I don't make a lot of money. I work part time on the weekends and out of the kindness of his heart, he sent me this. So I just want to give a huge shout out to him. Uh, John Hollis, super awesome dude, super generous. Uh, the neighbor fam just exemplifies our industry and the kindness and you know, the, the good karma that we need to pass along to everyone. So I just wanted to give a shout out, you know, put this video out there. This recoil on a Mac uh, on the Plane B Defender, freaking awesome. Got some uh, fiends or coil turd coils in here too. They're amazing. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good day here in Detroit, Michigan. Take it easy. Yeah, absolutely absolutely man that's completely awesome i don't know 
I don't know your name. So I'm going to give you, Mystery Man, a shout out. And then, of course, we're going to shout out John from the Namber Fam for being just so generous. You know, there's 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 so many good people in the community and this you know there's good and bad right and there's so many good people in the community and i'd so much rather focus on all the good people in this community and this is something that ruby Roo and i were talking about it's going to be on the podcast this week this sunday about the community and just overall like people being generous with things and people paying it forward and if someone you know wins a mod or something and then they go well I don't really need this mod I'm going to pay it forward to this person or I'm going to pay my old gear forward to this person I I just love that that's one of my favorite things is the generosity of some of the vapors that I've met it's just it's just fantastic it's just fantastic and that kind of thing makes me so so happy and if anybody else out there watching either live or on the replay if you have a video that uh you want to see featured on this vlog you can you can send it over to me nick at grimgreen.com just mark your view just mark your subject that one thing that you like chances are i'll see the attachment and save it but if you want to shout yourself out shout a shop out do shout out some advocacy shoot the shit talk about your setup just whatever send them on over i love hearing from you guys and you can send those over again nick grimgreen.com and what i would like to do right now that we have officially officially kicked off the vlog is just because it's not getting any colder sitting here on my desk it's time to open a beer and again i i don't remember the gentleman's name that sent me this beer because because i'm a dirt because i'm a jerk Shit. Okay, it's not, I mean, I'm not trying to be like so self-deprecating, like, oh, I'm such an idiot, I'm such a jerk, I'm such an idiot. Uh, I just, I am really bad with people's names, and I try, and I try, and I'm just bad with people's names. And I, like I said before, not only do I repeat myself very often, but I do that thing where I'm like, oh, I'll remember, I'll remember, who'd this come from? Alan, I'll remember that. Of course, I have like such self-confidence until I actually, you know, need to remember something. And then I go, oh, yeah, I I can't remember things and I can't remember names and I can't remember anything. But what we have tonight, this this is a this is a legendary beer. This is a beer that I wish Bogan was just sitting in my office so that he could drink this with me. They even put on the label, highly acclaimed. (laughs) How's that for some bragging right there? (laughs) Critically acclaimed. This is Founders KBS, Kentucky Breakfast Stout. And they're not lying. It's a very, very highly, highly, highly rated beer. In fact, I'm going to jump over here onto the, uh, I'm going to jump over here on the Beer Advocate and see what I can find out about this. I might even be able to just Google KBS. Yes. Uh, Okay, but it doesn't come up on Beer Advocate. KBS. This is, like I said, this is one of those like sought after beers. People just go bananas for this beer and everybody, it's like, oh, if you've never had KBS, you know, it's a little little bit of a gatekeepy beer. Like people are like, oh, you're into craft beer? Oh, that's cute. Have you ever had KBS? If you haven't ever had KBS, you're not really into craft beer. You're not a real craft beer fan. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in the world. I'm not trying to go on some tangent here, but gatekeeping. Ugh, just as the worst. All right, uh, what we've got here is an imperial stout brewed with a massive amount of coffee and chocolates. How does that not sound amazing? How does that not sound amazing? Maybe maybe adults do like flavors. Uh, then cave cave-aged... This beer is aged in a cave. Come on, that's pretty cool. Uh, A cave aged in oak bourbon barrels for an entire year to make sure the wonderful bourbon undertones come through on the finish. Make your taste buds squeal with delight. Now labeled as KBS, ABV varies by batch. Make, are you guys ready? I'm going to make my taste buds squeal with delight. I'm not even sure that's something I want to happen, but I feel like it's just going to happen with this KBS. Thankfully, the KBS does not come with a cork. 
comes with a cap. And I'm going to be pouring uh, this KBS into, why not? Some, some rinse spots right there. I should really rinse my glasses better. But this is a Dubal glass, and I'm assuming this beer is just going to pour black as a moonless night. Yeah, it's going to be dark. It's going to look like motor oil. And it's not going to be very effervescent. Look at that. Don't you just want to drink that? I mean, if you're into beer, then yes. But I'm assuming that, you know, if you're not into beer, you'll just go, well, no, of course not. Of course I don't want to drink that. that. Of course I don't. But anyway, Founders, KBS. I've only had this beer once in my entire life, and I'm about to have it for a second time, and I could not be more excited. So cheers. Here's to you guys. Boosh. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, it's inc the, the, the coffee and chocolate that you get from this is incredible. This is pretty boozy. What's the ABV on this bastard? What are you? It says 12%. Okay, 12.2. Okay. Okay, 12.2. I have a little, little bottle of 12.2, so I shouldn't go so crazy, right? Like when I had the Golden Drock, that turned into a real weird vlog. I feel like we'll be able to remain a little normal with this. But yeah, but the amount of chocolate and coffee flavor that you get on that like first sip on that drink down, it's just chocolate, coffee, sweetness. It's a little bit boozy. So it kind of almost takes on the characteristic of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a mixed drink, how you can like actually taste the alcohol in a mixed drink. That's what this that's what I get from this. It's bourbony. It's chocolatey. It's overwhelmingly awesomeness, and and I don't have a, I don't have a GD thing to pair with it. Not one. Maybe maybe some uh, poet sweet black tea. I, I don't know. That might work. Mm hmm. What am I doing? I just did this beer beer pairing completely backwards. No. That's not not a good pairing. It's actually it's bad. That's a, I would say that's a negative pairing that I dislike. Oh. That's pretty bad as well, you know. Big, big coffees, big coffees, big beers, like imperial stouts with chocolate and coffee and aged in a cave for a year in bourbon barrels. It needs like a proper liquid. It needs like a big, like I just picture like a big tobacco-y flavor, like a big tobacco-y flavor liquid. Like maybe that Fall Delight might go with this. I'm sure Yig would go with this, but I just don't have any right now. Anyway, this is great. Mm. This is great. This is great. And we're just going to move on. We're just going to move on from that. I'm going to be enjoying that. Oh, I'm enjoying that the whole vlog. Anyway, uh, let's move forward a little bit and talk about real quickly what I've been vaping. I kind of reset up some things. If anybody's wondering about that, uh, that armadillo atomizer from last week that I had such a hard time setting up. And look, that was like my first time with this atomizer. So I'm just kind of learning it just like everybody else. And then there was a lot of comments on that vlog that people were like, it was painful to watch you try to build that. And I'm like, I know <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> it was painful for me too, but it's still here. I've been vaping it here and there and it's fine. Here's the thing. The vape that I get from it is fine. And Toonie, this liquid, this bowl of What's it called? Bowl of joy. It's a bowl of joy. <gasps> it's a bowl of joy. Sorry about that. Sorry about the burping. <clears throat> People tell me not to apologize. People tell me just to really lean into it and just really burp like crazy. But I don't know. We'll see where we go. This is the Keen with the uh, Armadillo RDA still sitting on there. And I, and I keep this set up because I just think that looks so cool. I love using this Keen and it fits so nice in the hand. Hits nice and hard. I don't know. This is a fine setup. It's good. And it's still hanging around. I just really like that juice too. Um, juice. I said it. <sighs> All right. 
That's a dollar in the swear jar. Do I have to, can I send myself a super chat? I can. Your amount and message will be public. Swear jar. Can I put a dollar in it? Uh, really? I just tried to super chat myself a dollar for the swear jar, but I think I broke the chat. <laughs> Liquid. I really like that cereal liquid. Um, yeah, so moving forward, here we go. This is what we're doing. Uh, Caliburn. Caliburn made a huge comeback recently. I'm not sure why. I just filled it up with some uh, 12 milligram 50-50 PGVG Cardo Crush from the Namber Classics, and it's been basically spectacular. Yeah. It doesn't travel well, but damn it, that Caliburn is a good... Good little vape. Goat Hexome, Turk V2 on top, Sweet Black Tea on the inside. You already saw this. I tried to pair this with a Kentucky 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 Breakfast Stout. Kentucky Bourbon Stout? Amer what is this? I don't know what KBS actually stands for. Kentucky Bourbon Stout. It used to be breakfast. I think it's breakfast stout. I'm not sure. Anyway. The Hexome just hits so well and so reliably. And I love that Turk V2. I feel like I cannot be without the Turk V2 from now on. Warlocks, Hammer. Uh, this is something that I kind of never, ever really put down. Just love the shit out of this thing. Original recipe recoil on top. This is loaded up with last week's random liquid tasting. That Sour Mango Belts from the Sour Series of Kilo. It's delicious. It's not as sour as I want, but it's still pretty freaking delicious. It's a very, very good mango flavor. These are very, very dead batteries, boy. Sometimes I kind of like it when my batteries are dying because then you can just take like the world's longest toot. Just toot it up. Topside Jenna combo. This is, I mean, this is amazing. This is like my end game. This is like one of my favorite setups just ever, ever of all time. Topside Jenna. I just love it so much. That is loaded up with Bogans, the Ducks Nuts. And I still haven't got sick of it, and the cherry flavor in it is still fantastical. Um, I'm going to need to re-wick this, but this is the Profile Unity on top of that uh, Jackaroo mod from uh, Bogan Vandy Vape. And uh, this Profile Unity RTA finally needs to be re-wicked. And, and I was waiting. Like, I kept vaping it and vaping it and vaping it, and I was wondering, when am I going to know? Like, when am I going to feel that it needs to be re-wicked? I felt it. My flavor got real weird, like almost a little cardboardy, like kind of like a sub ohm coil head happens. And then I got like two solid, like real burnt hits in a row. And I went, all right, that's it. This cotton is, uh, this cotton is on its last legs, but I'm going to try to give it one more pull here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then, uh, yeah, shit. I guess lastly, Grim Army, Kasa Fundraiser Edition BMI Touch topped with the Mike Vapes Rebirth RTA. Just did a review for this earlier this week if you want to check it out. It's a banger, man. I mean, it, I, I can't wait to see what Mike does next. It's ridiculous. Like, he's batting like 8-0. and 0. Like, everything he's released, I'm just like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, what else? What else you got, Mike? Because it's probably going to be really good. This is loaded up with some. I don't know. I don't know what's in this. Oh, that's the banana liquid. Okay, so no, this is really lastly, and this was meant to be. I definitely, uh, I definitely broke the chat. I 100% broke the chat. It won't let me. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's try to pop out the chat again. I tried to send myself a super chat, and it really messed up 
everything. My chat was just spinning. There we go. Now we're back to normal. All right. It's okay. When the little dangle clacks of life happen, you just uh, correct the situation and you move on. Anyway, so this was going to be the clickbaity title of this. Uh, this was going to be the clickbaity baity title of this vlog. I was going to say something along the lines of like, my new favorite setup or my my perfect setup or something real clickbaity. But really what this comes down to is I can't put this setup down. It's it's my jam. Like I cannot stop. It's fantastic. And it's nothing like super crazy or anything like that. It's the dreamer mech because Stan makes good mechs. And this is the dreamer mech. It's topped with that uh, Sonnet RDA, which... I love, in fact, I shot a video for the Sonnet and it was supposed to be uploaded this week, but when I went to go edit it, uh, I realized that my microphone was turned off and so it's just a bunch of video that's like a big silent film, just me. Silent and I was, oh, I was so mad. I was so mad, but ultimately, I mean, the Sonnet's, it's great. It's a great RDA. I'm still going to do a video for it, but the Sonnet on top of the Dreamer with this yellow DHD nub tip and this liquid has just become, I can't even explain how good this liquid is. This is the new Coil Turd Boule Bolu, Boule Bolu, Boule Bolu. It's a banana cake. I, I cannot get enough of this liquid like i have been vaping this liquid more than i've been vaping pony on acid recently and that is saying a lot because i love pony on acid and i will take any opportunity that i can to vape that liquid and this freaking coil turd freaking beecher has kind of dethroned pony on acid this month and I, I feel weird. I feel, ooh, I feel dirty even saying that. I just, this combo right here, oh. See, and that's the great thing about the Sonnet. I just overdrip the hell out of it. And on any other RDA, this would be flooding everywhere. But I didn't even notice it until I like flicked some liquid out of it. Anyway, cheers. The Sonnet is great. The flavor is banging. And this banana cake or banana pie or whatever this banana is in here, Beecher, is supreme. It is supreme on every level. I'm a banana, whatever, crazy person, right? Before it was strawberries, it was banana. And I would vape every banana liquid that I could possibly find. My my favorite was from Kilo. It was the banana milk, their Mu E liquid banana milk. Good Lord, it was good. This phew, banana, like I've never had banana before. I believe this liquid is only going to be available in Indonesia. But if you have the means or the opportunity to vape this liquid, do it. Do it as, as quickly as you can. Lethal Coils, what up to you from California, bro? Anyway, that is really what I've been vaping. But this whole segment could have been just this. Like, this is really what I've been vaping like crazy. And I flooded the crap out of this atomizer. I better vape it down just so I don't pick it up again and just flood more juice into it. Oh, how, oh, I love it. I literally, literally literally love it. Anyway, that's basically more or less what I've been vaping. And I still have this set up. Um, I did a, a live stream. Matt Cully invited me onto his suck my mod YouTube channel for a live stream. And we kind of did a little bit of the history of vaping. And I set this up in that stream. And this is an iClear 16 on top of an ego battery, an actual authentic joy tech ego battery, 12 milligram Cardo crush on the inside. It's leaking out the bottom, which iClear 16s never leaked out the bottom that I can remember. This one's just leaking out the bottom, but 
It vapes. I vaped it. <laughs> I vaped it that whole stream, and, and, it, and it satisfied me. Mm-hmm. It vapes. This is from 2012. Still vapes. Still vapes. I mean, I'm not going to say that thing where I say, oh, it still vapes just as good as everything else I have because it doesn't, but it does still vape. Okay, finally, one last thing. Um, I put six milligram in an orchid and I'm lung inhaling it and it's it's awesome. The orchid does pretty nice mouth to lung if you close the airflow all the way off like completely completely off you can get some good mouth to lung out of it but with it fully open you can do a real restricted lung hit with six milligram and i've just been enjoying the shit out of this this is a, a yami vapor liquid this one butter brew ah yami vapor butter brew butter brew and it's pretty good man it's not uh it's not like it's a it's custardy, but it's not quite like uh, really excellent custard. It's a really good custard, but I think I like I don't know like Turkish better that that custard better. I kind of like Diswan. I like that custard a little bit better. But at a at a whopping sixteen watts, that's a very satisfying six milligram lung hit. Okay, great. Now, oh okay. I see you there, Dr. Grizz. Let's try, let's try this setup with the banana cake and the KBS. Probably, probably should have thought of that before, but thank you. It's better. It's a little, I will say this. It's a little bit better. I'll say that. It's a little bit better. It's not great. This is just this is just a hard brew to pair a liquid with, I guess. Mm. God, it's so good. And now I'm getting like, at first when I tasted that, all I got was like chocolate. It's like, hi, welcome to chocolate beer. Now I'm actually getting a lot more of like the coffee component to it. The coffee and the chocolate working together in there. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, the duck's nuts. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll try the duck's nuts. Why didn't I think of this? I don't know. Okay, that's the best one so far. The duck's nuts is kind of uh, kind of working with this KBS. Okay, well, good call on whoever that was in the chat. Uh, I didn't see your name, and even if I did, I probably won't remember it. Anyway, let's move on from beer. I have uh, I have a bunch of vape mail, and if the Mrs. Crow is here tonight, I went down, I got your package, it's here, we're going to be open it, so it's time. It's time to do some vaping mails. This is a uh, vanilla, oh, vanilla scented garbage bag. It's just my favorite. I don't have a rubber band though, man. That's okay. Now, now, we're not gonna open this first, but what I'm gonna point out first is I, 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 got, a pa I, got, a, I got a package right here from, uh, from Mr. Kent Twisted Messes himself sent me this package and uh, Casey brought it up to the uh, to the apartment from the mail room, and she's like, "I don't know what happened, but it was it was just opened, like someone ripped open the top of it and thieved, dirty thieved, whatever was inside." And I'm pretty sure it was liquid because he wrote on the bottom, "Very random juice tasting, truly random juice." Well, he got two words wrong. Well, three, technically. Truly random juice testing. It's a, a truly random liquid tasting now, Kent, and it's tasting, not testing. But anyway, bummed. Bummed. Kent sent me a random bottle of liquid to try. Bummed. It's just gone. Why do people take things that aren't theirs? 
I don't get it. That just really bummed me out. Well, let's get into this. I got some, uh, I got some shenanigans and, and mail here from China and from various people and from Turk, which I am really very, very excited about the Turk mail. You, how do you not be excited about getting mail from Turk? You have to be excited, right? Oh, oh, Kent, would you look at that? Well, would you just look at that? Ocula RDA. I finally, okay, maybe this is the one we'll build this week. Am I going to have as hard a time with it as I did with the armadillo? I don't know. Maybe. Probably, right? Probably. But that means I got a few to uh, to $2 sale over to the Cool Kids Club. I got two, uh, well, I got a black one, two black ones and a stainless. All right. I feel like I should keep the black and the stainless separate. But right now, that's kind of on deck to uh to get built i think i really want to try that ocula i've already seen uh other people's videos for it and i don't know where my knife went did you guys see where i put my knife out of curiosity is it in the trash do you know if these cars have automatic transmission i found it by the way Right. All right. What are you? Uh oh, sweet. Sweet. I'm excited about this one. This is uh this is a new mech from uh Ambitions Vapor. The Arkless from Mr. Ambitions. I am really excited about this, man. Oh, that's a cool Mac. Fuck, that's a cool Mac, dude. That is slick. I mean, a little bit of uh, maybe borrowing a little bit stylistically from a uh, vape work stop there with the with the with the black knurling. But that is a pretty slick looking Mac right there. And if I want to go, I must just cut my own finger off. If I want to go stacky with it, there is a stacky portion as well right here. We could go full stacky with it. Dang. Can you really? How does this work? Show me your ways, mech life. Okay. Well, there's the button. There's the this. And then this screws onto here. Correct. Yeah, there it is. There's the threads. Boosh. And then you have a stacky mech life. Dang. All right. So going to need some series coils for this, I'm assuming. It looks like a police baton. Like I could just beat the hell out of someone with this. Just beat the hell out of a jaywalker. Just do a no-knock raid on the wrong house and beat someone with this. You know, like cops do. Look at that. Or it looks like the Tron light cycle things from uh, the Tron movie. You know? I mean, I don't, I've never ridden a motorcycle or anything like that. But I think that's how they work. I think those are the sounds that happen. All right, cool. Well, thanks. Thanks, Ambitions Vapor. I'm going uh, to put this through its paces. In fact, I might just uh, break out that black ocula put a series build on it what what turn this into a stacked mech what what all right so there's little uh that's interesting maybe i need to figure out how these work these look like uh, little silicone 510 pins all right all right maybe i won't set that up maybe it's a little bit too complicated for old grim green over here awesome stoked about that maybe i'll read the instructions as to how this thing actually works Series adapter, stacked tube, no arcing, knurled black resin sleeves, silver plated copper contacts, one of the hardest hitting max. That's that's a lot. That's saying a lot. Uh, 0.43 voltage drop, compatible with 18650, 2700, and 2700 batteries. Acrylic resin button. I don't know what those little little things are for. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I don't need to figure out what they're for right now. 
I'm just getting through. I'm just opening all of the uh, all of the DHL and China stuff because I know I have like a birthday gift over here, so that's gonna be awesome. Oh, all right. Fuck it. All my trash is just going on the ground. Sick of you, trash bag, not staying where you're supposed to be staying. Come on, man. Work with me here. Work with me. We're live. Did you know that? Trash bags never listen. Oh, what are you? Oh, what is this? This is some. Uh, this is some sweet mech action from a uh, Torin. You guys remember that Torin mech that I did a video for? I don't know, months and months ago. Months and months ago, it seems like. There's a new mech mod in here. What was that, Ruby Roo? Everyone is saying that the black washers go between the batteries. Okay, okay. So those black washers, see, this is why I love my subscribers. Those black washers go in between the batteries when you're stacking it. All right. I mean, that makes a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. Thank you for that, Ruby Roo, and thank you for that chat. Um, I would also... I got some really very sad news. We all kind of got some very sad news today. Uh, Peter Mayhew, the gentleman that played Chewbacca for his whole life. Um, Peter Mayhew passed away today. Chewbacca died today. And that's really very sad. And for what it's worth, Peter Mayhew, we're dedicating this vlog to you. I just saw you in Chicago. I was at Star Wars Celebration and I saw you, Peter Mayhew, I saw you with your fans and I saw you signing autographs and Chewbacca died today. Chewbacca. Fucking Chewbacca died today. And I hate that. I hate that so much. And it really bums me out. But we're here to talk about this Thunderhead Creations. Oh, look at that mech. Look at that guy. It's kind of a little bit, uh, you know, ergonomically styled it's got that big swoop in the back where i'm assuming like your th your 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 thumb goes if you're using like the cali claw technique right here uh-oh oh you have a telescoping button that's interesting telescoping button comes out on the bottom and i'm always a little bit skeptical of these because this one seems to be much better but sometimes these type of like telescoping buttons on mech mods they don't press evenly so if you like you press over here it gets crunchy and won't press but this one seems to be not suffering from any of those issues and it's a really like weird squishy firm press i kind of want to see what's going on in this switch down here oh okay i can't see what's going on in this switch down here because the contacts are hitting inside of the switch and it looks like i might need a tool oh there's a lock on it too oh that's interesting all right sweet sweet torin mac what are you called the torin max this is the torin max mech mod it's a pretty slick looking mech if i don't say so myself i really like that like ergonomic cutout it just completely breaks up that straight like that straight clean line you see from the front and it just goes bullet and gets all like funhouse mirror. I think that's cool. I think that's super cool. All right, Torin. I'm going to put you back in here for now. I'm going to put you back in here for now. There's two of them, which means that, you know, Cool Kids Club, $2 sales. Cool Kids Club, $2 sales. Holy crap. Okay, I might actually have a lot of mail this week. I might have too much mail this week. And it doesn't help that I'm not cleaning up my garbage as I go. Because usually I clean up my garbage as I go. It's just not doing it this week. What do we got here? Uh, Rip Trippers Spotlight Peaky Blinders. Okay, um, so... To be super, really super fair to Rip Trippers, I have never tried uh, any Rip Trippers liquid. If anybody in the chat or in the comments down below has tried Rip Trippers liquid, 
Let me know what you think of it because I got some Peaky Blinders. I think we'll save this. I think we'll save this for a future very random liquid tasting because I've never, I've actually never tried a single one of his anything like his liquids. I mean, I love his Pharaoh and I love the Pharaoh mini, but I've never tried his liquids. Oh, what is this? Maybe I shouldn't be showing this. Is this on camera? Okay. What are you? Are you just, uh, oh, okay. I might not be uh, showing this on YouTube right now. Dang. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show this on YouTube right now just because I'm not sure er, if I'm supposed to be showing this on TV. On, on TV. What? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be showing this uh, on YouTube. I have to test the airflow. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. All right. I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to keep this off camera just for now because I am genuinely not sure if I'm supposed to be showing this or anything. That's cool too. But Peaky Blinders, Rip Trippers, Peaky Blinders. We'll save that for a future random liquid tasting. I'm going to put you over there. Look, I I'm going to try to clean up some of this garbage just for a second. Hang on. I just have to. I can't look down and see that much trash on my floor. Like, if you watch my Insta or my Instagram, if you watch my YouTube, like a uh, story, I do a story sometimes after every vlog and show the big mess. It just keeps growing. Like as we've been doing these live vlogs, the 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 mess just keeps growing, and I have to take a second to clean it up. And I apologize. Normally, if this were like a video, I would just cut all of this out. But I can't. Okay. Oh, so much better. Okay. <sighs> I already feel 8,000 times better. All right. Well, we're saving these two. Caitlin. Caitlin, I got your package finally, Caitlin. Caitlin sent me a package. And I, I, think, this might, uh, I think this might be a birthday gift. Oh, I'm so excited. How do I open this? Isn't there a, uh, like a pull tab thing? No? All right. Is that only FedEx packages that have the cool pull tab thing? What's in here? Saving that. Saving that. Saving that. Caitlin. Caitlin? What did you send me? Something framed? Is this more art? Which, by the way, uh, I know you're not here, Ilya, but that is uh, that's that's uh, that's Jack Donaghy. That's what I got last week, Ilya, and Jack Donaghy is inspiring me every single day, being on my wall right there. Oh no, shit! That's awesome. Yo, yo, hey Nick, here's an actual handwritten letter. I know how you love these. I do. I re handwritten letters. It's, it's a dying pastime and it's my favorite thing. I'm sorry. It took so long for me to get this out to you, but the timing is pretty perfect since you just got back from star Wars celebration. I wanted to wish you a happy late birthday. I hope it was awesome. I would also like to thank you for everything you do for the community. You are a true inspiration and have made me really want to get my voice out there and be proactive about advocacy. Yes. Again, thank you for everything. I suck at writing letters, so I'm going to end this. Yo, yo, I keep on vaping. Caitlin, please don't judge my hand. Don't judge my drawing too harshly. I tried. No, Caitlin. Caitlin, this is awesome. You drew this and sent it to me, and I love it. Look at this stormtrooper. Caitlin drew this and sent it to me. That's spectacular. That's fantastic. I love this. I love this, Caitlin. I love this. Thank you. This is another thing. It's like, well, where am I going to put it? Maybe I can put it above Jack Donaghy. Maybe I can put it like below these guys over here. Maybe we can put it down there. That could be a thing, Caitlin. That could be a thing. I'm going to put this in a safe place for now. All right. We got another one here from uh, Nick. I think this is a... Uh, I think this is a birthday gift too. I just like, I, you know, I just like getting birthday gifts. Ugh. 
Come on now. There it is. And what are you? What's this? Oh, this is a beer glass. So there has to be beer in here, right? I mean, you wouldn't just send a beer glass, would you? Or maybe you would. Maybe you would send me beer glasses. What? Revolver Brewing? Death Ray IPA? I, oh, you can't see that at all. What about now? What about now? Death Ray IPA? No, you still can't see it very well. What is this? Holy shit. Oh my god. I love this. I can't, look at this Darth Vader keychain. Look at Darth Vader just standing there like a boss. Just Darth Vader keychain and beer glasses. Bro, thank you, Nick. Nick, thank you. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Love it. Love the glasses. Love the glasses. I kind of want to use this glass right now. I wish it, uh, I'm gonna, I might need to wash this glass first. But I'll take a drink out of this glass. Nick, thank you. And Nick, your name is a name that I may actually remember, Nick. So thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. I need to, I, I have too many things. All right. All right. The Mrs. Crow, Thomas and Mrs. Crow. I got a thingy here. What are you? I say that too much. Don't I say that? What are you? I say that too much. I say that way. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, these are stickers. Oh, baby. Hey, Nick, here is your other gifts since they canceled the ECC event in Vegas. Yeah, uh, they did. For anybody wondering, they did cancel the Wave Expo, the ECC Wave Expo that was supposed to be happening in Las Vegas next weekend, uh, it did get canceled. Uh, hey, Nick, here's your other gift. Since they canceled the ECC event in Vegas, it would have been fun to been able to hang out with you and get to meet everyone else. Here are the instructions for the decals. I hope you like them. Your friends, Tom and Angela. Yes. I don't even need to. Yes. So it's all of these stickers. <gasps> There's a Chewbacca one. Oh, man. Chewbacca. I'm putting Chewbacca on my car. That's all there is to it. Pickle, you can't argue with me. I'm putting Chewbacca on my car. I, everybody needs to refresh, apparently. Everybody wants to refresh. Just give it a quick little refresh. Should be working. Look at that. Look at these. Those are fantastic, Thomas Crow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. These are incredible. I mean, you can't even appreciate them. Like, I can show you this, but it just looks like nothing. Awesome. Thank you guys fucking so much. And I got some juice. What are you? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, I said I said the J word. Liquid. You got E juice. Okay, well. <laughs> Frosted donut 3 milligram. No kidding. All right. Stoked, Thomas Crow. Thank you, Thomas and Angela. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Really appreciate these stickers. I'm going to save this note. Um, I save every note or letter or anything that I get from anybody ever. I've saved all of them. They're all in, they're all in my closet, and I have a big collection going in my drawer right now. I just keep them. Like, why not? Why not? Why not keep, hang on to those things? All right. You have room over here to go. Um, this is the last one. Turk. This is the one we've been waiting for. Turk. Turk. I don't know how to open this. Just apparently it's just it's just tear it open. Turk. Turk. Ugh. Turk has awesome branding. Turk has awesome packaging. I I'm a hundred percent stoked on this. Woo! Okay, yeah, a bunch of stickers. Oh, he has wraps. Holy shit. Turk wraps. Did you, I didn't know that these existed. Turk battery wraps. 
That's fantastic. I didn't know that these existed, bro. Stoked on those. And I'm stoked on this. And I have the perfect, perfect home for it. Oh, look at you. So Turk's doing uh, colors. I believe, you know what? I don't know. Turk might get mad at me. I don't want Turk to get mad at me, but he's doing he's doing some colors and they're not going to be available for just a little while, but he's posted them on his Instagram. So I feel like, I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay to post them here. Um, this is what he sent me. It's one deck and two caps and one's green and one is purple. And those just look so super dope those just look so super dope and i have a plan Ooh, i could put the green one on here too this was my plan when turk asked me what colors i want i said purple purple first thing purple right out of the gate really purple yeah purple send it up so he sent me a green one and a purple one because i wanted to put the purple one on this uh on this warlock's hammer but that green that like Joker aesthetic, that actually looks pretty dope. That actually is pretty, pretty dope. And this already has a build in it, so I'm not going to press the button. But I could put some liquid on here and we could vape this right now. But that actually looks pretty awesome. I, I really like the Turk V2 RDA. Really like the Turk V2 RDA. And having it in a color, look at this. Oh, yeah, purple. Just purple on purple. Purple on purple. So much purple. I love purple. I like this guar on purple. I like the Turk on purple. If I could get a purple drip tip or like a green drip tip or something, that would be the ultimate. That would be the ultimate right there. The green cap is just so cool. So cool. Anyway. I'm really stoked on these. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to try or vape the Turk V2, it's a great, it's a great RDA. I mean, it really, truly, truly is a rad, rad RDA. I don't often like gush about things, I guess. I mean, I guess I do gush a little bit sometimes, but you know, it's better than fine. I describe a lot of vape stuff as fine. I'm like, it's fine. It's a fine RDA. It's a fine tank. The Turk shit is better than fine. The Turk shit is legit. Oh, I love that. I love this. I love it. All right, Turk. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. Colors coming soon. mturk.net. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And they're all and they're gonna be in colors. And I think he has red and green and I don't know how many colors he has. Red and green and purple, blue, you know, those colors. I kind of want to put that green one on top of that ambitions, ambitions, mech, mech life, mech. So I think that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to put a quick timestamp right here because I'm going to set something up. That's the last package. And I have this mech life and I have a black ocula RDA. So we're just going to hang out for the next 15 minutes or so. And I'm going to build up this ocula RDA. Because I'm dying to try it. Dying to try it. Look at that fucking deck. That is a crazy deck. Those post holes are gigantic. Oh, well. I've just lost an O-ring. Oh, it's gone. That O-ring is gone, gone. What the heck? <laughs> an O-ring popped off. I'm sorry, Kent. I mean, I know you have replacements in here. But that O-ring just freaking jumped off that RDA like I've never seen it before. Okay, I'll put the O-ring back on. <laughs> I always have issues with Kent's stuff. And it's funny because Kent hit me up uh, yesterday and was like, hey, you know, Ocular RDA, did you review it? You know, you do this? And I'm like, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. And I thought I didn't get one because Kent wouldn't send me one. Because... Kent and I have a little bit of a history with like certain reviews or products and things like this. Some certain things were said and you know, it's all it's all water under the bridge now, but I I thought Kent was still holding a grudge. 
I thought he was like, I'm not sending it to you. I don't even want you to review it. But it's all right, because we're going to put this Ocula on this Arkless Mac. We're going to build it. And I got a 21, 2700. Sure, we'll use a good, like an iJoy 2700 Boosh. No, not that that one. Here it is. iJoy, good iJoy 2700. And grab some coils to put on here. Boosh, Ocula. These post holes are gigantic. The beefy screws are beefy and gigantic. This just raises like magic. How did you do that? Is that magnets, Kent? How did you do this? I, that's, I'm fascinated by that. How did you do that? That, how did you do that? How did you connect those screws to those clamps, my friend? Banging. Okay, now the quest begins for coils. And I have so many coils. 0.14? Sure, that should work, right? I have some uh, for British eyes only. But I don't know what these are going to resist out to. Grim Green, Vape Capital Coils. All right, let's try some of these Vape Capital Coils from uh, For British Eyes Only. Oh, you can't see that. It's it's just washed out. For British Eyes Only. No one? No one's a fan of uh, <laughs> Arrested Development? Now, the trick is to find two matching coils because these are a few different sets in here. That's a pair. That's a single. Are you a pair? You're not a pair either. Are you a pair? All right, you might be a pair. Yeah, just, good Lord, gigantic, gigantic post holes. These post holes, you could, you could drive a bus through these post holes. And it's gonna focus someday. Yeah, look at the size of those post holes. That is that is, that is giant. These are beefy screws and giant post holes. Giant post holes. I feel like I could put something much bigger in here for British eyes only, but no. We're going to do it. We're going to stick these in here. I got to take off my glasses. I got to go full Russian hacker mode for a hot minute so I can clip these leads. Um, don't worry about me. Just talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to be here building this Oculus RDA that I'm actually really excited uh, is existing in my possession right now because I didn't think I was going to get one. Sometimes you just, I just cut my leads and let them go flying. Does anybody else do that? It's, I just think I'll vacuum in here. I mean, I'm going to vacuum in here eventually, right? So you just let the leads fly. Just, just, just let them fly. Instantly, a much easier deck to build on than that armadillo. I'm just going to say that right out of the gate. Really much easier than that armadillo already. See, I'm going to get that in there. I'm going to get that in there. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to screw these screws down. Dang. That is how you do an easy ass install, bro. Boosh. Built. Pfft. What? For British eyes only. Do these need to be uh, centered or up high? How's this airflow looking? Oh, he just uh, ripped off the recoil. That's fine. I'm just kidding, Kent. Come on. I'm just kidding. I know you didn't rip off the recoil. <laughs> oh, you kind of did a little bit. Okay, so the airflow is kind of angled down. Okay. I'm just going to leave these as they are. I'm going to leave those as they are right there. I'm going to put the rest of these coils away. I'm going to get out some cotton bacon. 
Prime. They're a sponsor of the podcast, so they they do pay us money to advertise on our podcast. But um, I think cotton bacon is some of the best cotton uh, in existence in the world on earth. Let's see what's going on. Now, look, people are going to give me a hard time about this. Put your, okay, I'm just going to, here we go. Let's lead by example. Let's lead by example. We're not going to try these coils on a mech mod because that's technically not the safe way to do it. The safe way to check your coils is to put them on something regulated. So I'm going to put them on this BMI Goldie first before we pulse them on the mech mod. Normally, if I was just by myself here, if the, the camera's a little bit, uh, how's that? Is that better? If I was by myself here, I would just be pulsing these on a mech, but I'm going to be responsible and we are going to pulse these on a regulated mod as you should. Hold one second, please. I need to turn on some lighting because as with every vlog, the sun is going down and we need to chase the sun. So let's turn on some lights. Sun, 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 man, man. You know, Beatles. Dun, 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 ah, ah, so much better. All right. So this is reading uh, 0.12 right now, which probably would have been okay on a Mac, but you know what? Responsibility. What's that? I hope these are matching coils. I have a feeling they're not matching coils. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, they have matching wraps. And all you do, all you ever need to do is pulse and strum. Pulse, strum, pulse, strum. Already, already glowing basically perfectly evenly. <sighs> These are not the same coils. These are two very different coils, dude. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to reinstall these, man. These are not a matching pair of coils. One, two, three, four, five wraps. One, two, three, four, five wraps. They're just heating up so unevenly. And now that I look at them, one set of coils is clearly bigger and fatter than the other set of coils. All right. Luckily, luckily we have plenty of time. <laughs> luckily, I have more coils to choose from. I will save these for another date, Mr. British Eyes only, um, just because they are, I know for sure they're mismatched coils and I don't want to do that. All right, let's just go. Uh, let's just go manipulated metals. I'm not sure if anybody out there is hip to uh, manipulated metals, but I'm going to be using some of his manipulated metals, which you just want to say manipulated metals. I'm just going to be using some manipulated metals coils, and we'll install them just as quick as we did before. Ready? Skadoosh, and then we cut, and just. The leads fly off and hit the ceiling, and that's fine. As long as they're behind the desk, right? Skadoosh. There's another coil. Let's put you in there. Let's trim your leads. Okay. So those didn't go flying around the room. I, I I like these post holes. These post holes are just, I mean, kind of incredible for installing coils. Oh, why are you longer, you, you leads now? Okay, hang on. This is going to require my full attention very briefly. So I'm going to ignore you completely, and I apologize. That's not my intention. Actually, it is my intention, because I said that, anyway, it doesn't matter. Your leads are too long still, dude. How did that happen to you? Let's 
thrilling entertainment i know i know it's amazing like oh let's watch grim green struggle with another atomizer <laughs> okay it's just what's gonna happen Nope, well, you're good. You're good. Are you good? All right. I am lowering the clamps. Okay. Now, now we got some coils in here, some matching coils. They're going to be the s Oh shit. Now I fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. I didn't tighten down the uh, I didn't tighten down the screws enough, and when I went to adjust my coils, it, it just pulled it out. So I'm gonna re-up this real quick. Oh man. That's a pisser. What a pisser. Okay, come on, man. Sorry. Sorry. Maybe I'm just going to start, like, taking this little segment out of the vlog. Like, I might remove the 10 minutes of watch Nick build an atomizer. Like, that's boring. I just didn't tighten down those screws enough. Ugh, maybe I tighten you down enough. Ugh, tighten you down enough. Get you into position. Get you into position Pfft. that is a terrible build dude good lord i am bad at this what am i even doing with my life all right these come out to a uh one, point one. let's do some uh some strumming and, and pulsing strum pulse strum pulse strum pulse that's all you ever need to do strum pulse and boosh glowing <sighs> glowing perfectly evenly perfect <sighs> perfect manipulated metals perfect thank you now the uh, extraordinarily long process of wicking needs to happen as well let me i i need i need some i need some voting action one for yes, two for no in the chat. Let me know down in the comments below. I probably shouldn't just build stuff in the middle of the live stream anymore. I feel like I'm taking way too long with this. And it's actually making me paranoid. That people are sitting there live at their computers going... Pff, pff. Wish I didn't watch this live stream. Three? Okay, that doesn't make much sense, Legion Vapes. But I appreciate the effort, bro. <laughs> first coil it's basically wicked <laughs> live building is hilarious all right thank you ruby Roo. yeah three hour vlogs no 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 and it especially helps god it's just so frustrating man like if i was sitting here alone building this i wouldn't have cared that i messed up the first coils i wouldn't have cared that i just messed up my first attempt at wicking but now that it's live i'm like <laughs> there's so much pressure like i can't even concentrate so no let's just whew, let's chill let's have a glass of beer we're gonna get these coils in here we're gonna get this cotton in here and we're gonna vape it and i am i am determined this is gonna happen this is going to happen except i need to become russian hacker mode again all right third time's a charm Let's get some cotton in here. Probably doesn't help that my leads are all super fucky. Super fucky. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. I know you can do this. Yeah. All right. We're halfway there. Nope, that's not enough. That's not enough cotton. I knew. I just pulled an audible right there and I was like, nope. It's not enough cotton. You might be enough cotton. Are you kidding me? 
When life hands you dangle clacks, you just, you cry. <laughs> All right, so now that this is wicked, go away. Let's trim the leads. Let's try some of uh, Thomas Crow's uh, donut here. Frosted freaking donut. Bang. Coil in. Bang. Wick in. Bang. All right. This is really coming together. I am, I am, uh, I'm excited that this is uh, finally a thing. It only took me roughly 14 minutes. <laughs> roughly 14 minutes to, uh, to build that. It's no big deal. What time is it? I can't see my, I can't see. I don't have my glasses. Oh, it's only 545. Pfft, you guys, we have so much time. All right, so Oculus is built. Finely built. Manipulated metals. Uh, these are aliens in here. Cotton, bacon, cotton. I am applying some You Got E-Juice. It's printed on there. Uh, I would call it You Got E-Liquid. Frosted donut, three milligram. This is uh, Thomas Crow's favorite liquid. Fa at least favorite donut liquid, I suppose. Might not be his favorite liquid of all time. But if it is, then that's even cooler because I like trying people's favorite liquids. That should be the juice tasting segment. Sorry. Liquid tasting segment. <laughs> Let me try your favorite liquid. What did you... How did you turn off? That's interesting. Maybe it was from the pulsing action. So these arrived at a 0.12. Looks like they're going. So I'm going to transfer this back to my Mac. Now that these are all glowing and vaping and wicked, because I'm not going to not vape this Mac. Um, O-ring tolerances, really tight. Super tight O-rings in a, in, a, in a good way. In a good way, tight O-rings. In a good way, tight O-rings. They're not snappy like Kennedy but they are nice and tight O-rings. Uh, Nick, Ryan wrote you a note, and it's in the box. He asked me to text you. What? Ryan? I didn't see a note. Did I miss a note, bro? Oh, no. Ah! Thank you. Thank you for that, Ruby Roo. Appreciate that. Ryan, I mean, Nick, I mean, Nick, Ryan, Nick, yo, yo, Nick. I found some of these items while cleaning out the closet and thought you might like them. Hell yeah. The glasses are from local breweries here in the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. If you haven't tried the temptress, then I highly recommend it. I've had temptress. Have I had temptress? I am. I'm like 80% sure I have had the temptress. I'm pretty sure I've had that temptress. Um, thanks for all you do for all us vapors and the smokers who will be vaping in the future. I love that optimism. I've been following your videos since 2013. I met you at Vape Bash 2014 in Chicago. You were very gracious. I bought a Toot Life shirt from you. I believe they were $15. I handed you a 20 and you didn't have the correct change, so you just handed me back a 10 and said, don't worry about it. That was very cool of you, and it made my day. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this stuff, and I hope to run into you again someday. Yeah, Nick, look, chances are good that our paths are going to cross sooner rather than later, and I really appreciate that. And I gave you a deal on a T-shirt. Cool, man. I, I, you know, that's just one of those things. Like, I don't care about, I don't care about nitpicky details and stuff like that. Close enough is always good enough for me. It's like... This is 15 bucks. What do you got? 20? All right. I don't have any chance. Here you go. You just have a 10 back. <laughs> like that's fine. That's good enough. So now what we need to do is reattach this very, very tight tolerances. Like, and I mean that in a good way. I'm just trying to line them up with my coils and I'm just going to leave this full open for now. We're just going to go full open on the Ocula RDA on top of the Arcless mech from Ambitions vapor i'm gonna throw some more thomas crow's favorite donut liquid in here and finally finally we are going to vape vape this okay first things first 
that switch, that switch is a thing of beauty, ambitions. Dang, I like that. Rad. Well, I like this a lot. I like this a whole lot. Thomas Crow, that's a rockin' donut. That is a rockin' donut that I think I might actually pair pretty well with this KBS. So cheers. Here's to you guys one more time. Mm. That is actually the best one so far. Best one so far. So the Oculus, is it Ocula or Oculus? Okay, it's the Ocula. Ocula. The Ocula RDA, it's got three big airflow slots, kind of ovally, kind of snake bitey looking, but without the like the material to travel down. They're just kind of they're on a flat surface. So there's no like depth to these airflow holes. They feel real nice and smooth. If not, it's a little it's a little open, like full open. It's a little too open. And Kent told me, he's like, yeah, everybody's running it on two holes. They close off one hole. I think I'm going to be that same guy as well. I think I'm going to close off. I think I'm going to close off one of these holes. And I don't know if that's your RDA or this mech, but I cannot get this RDA all the way down. Maybe I just need to, maybe it just needs to break in a little bit. I just see a little stripe of silver at the bottom on this full like black on black murdered out setup and it's kind of making me a little bit insane. Real open, real open, real airy, real cloud chasey. Supremely, supremely cloud chasey. So let's turn down. Let's try it like everybody else. Let's go down to two holes. Perfect. Perfection. That's perfection, Kent. Everybody is right. Two holes on the ocula is the way to go. I'm going to have to rename this vlog now. I'm going to have to put ocula in there. I'm going to put arcless in there. Um, enjoying the shit out of the way this mod feels. It's not, it's not like the keen where it's like ergonomic in any way. It's not like the Torin where it's ergonomic in any way. It's literally just a tube. But the thing is, in the hand, a tube is super comfortable anyway. It doesn't need to be further further ergonomic. As, as much as I love that, it's a tube. I love this switch. I really love this switch. It's a real nice throw and you can really feel it hit that contact in there. Like this is a great, great mech switch. I, I feel like I want to send this to Ruby Roo so she can take it apart. But this is a banging mech switch. This is a really great mech switch. Oh yeah, and that's, oh, it's arcless. Okay, I see. It's not quite like a, I don't know, constant contact. What does everybody think about constant contact? I don't really like constant, I don't, I don't know, constant contact mods. I don't feel like that's actually a thing that could possibly be real. Like you have to pull away the contact in order to stop it from firing, right? Am I wrong? Dig. I dig this setup. I dig this setup a lot right now. Dang. Rockin'. Rockin'. There you go. That's the final view. That's the Arcless Mech with the Ocula RDA on top. I think that is just a baller murdered out looking setup. I even like that gold stripe on the top. And this switch on this mech, I cannot get over it. That is rad. That is a super rad switch. Super rad switch. All right, well, I'm going to spend some time with this. It'll probably, both of these products will probably get a video at some point. I'm just enjoying the shit out of them right now. Banging. Well done, Kent. Well done, Ambitions Vapor. I'm going to try out that stacked tube on here at some point. 
I'm kind of not brave enough to do it just right now, but uh, we'll get it on there. I have some uh, I have some coils that I've been saving for a uh, you know for a uh, for a series build. I've got some I've got some Moke Vapes coils still waiting, just waiting to be in a series build. They're like a .35 fuse Claptons, and they're my favorite in a series. Hang on, hang on. Just gonna do a little good housekeeping here. There's just too much garbage on the floor. All right. Well, dang, that was a that was a completely eventful, 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 eventual, <clears throat> eventful vape mail. So, I think. What should we do now? I feel like we have so much time. I didn't read that news article that I wanted to read, so I apologize, but we'll read it next week. It's actually a pretty fantastic article on uh, teens and their perception of uh, of tobacco and vaping and tobacco harm reduction and things like this. I, I, do, I don't have enough time to do it tonight, but next week, next week we're going to read this article because I think it's just fantastic. But what I'd like to do right now is much more vape fiddling because I have to re-wick my retro vape, but I think that's what we're going to do right now. How about some retro vaping? So the retro vaping that I have tonight isn't exactly like a big time retro vaping. We're not going that far back in the time machine. We're not going all the way back to like 2009, 2010, something like that. What I have tonight is uh, it's an RTA from Watofo and it does need to be rewicked. Although I believe there is still a build in here. If I can get this chimney apart, this is the Serpent Mini. It was just a little single coil kind of flavor banger tank from Watofo a few years ago. I want to say 2015 Serpent Mini. I've been on a little bit of an RTA kick uh, just because of things like, you know, the Rebirth RTA, like that Profile RTA. I've just been, I've been, I've been on a little bit of an RTA kick, especially, you know, I'm not trying to build the hype train, but I'm trying to do my own RTA. And so I'm trying to, you know, look around and get some inspiration and things like that. And the Serpent Mini, I remember being, re I loved it. I loved this RTA and I just want to I just want to revisit it and see if it's something I still love. You might notice that there is a green uh, old, old, old school dot mod drip tip on there. Um, I've tried to take it off. It just doesn't. This is what happens. It just the, the base stays in there and then the green part comes off. So I decided I'm just going to leave it on there. This is just this old school dot mod drip tip is just fused to this RTA freaking forever, freaking forever. But yeah, tank, uh, the chimney comes out of the tank, but it doesn't necessarily need to. It all breaks down for real nice, easy cleaning. This has a screw on top for your juice fill. Uh, gigantic, gigantic fill holes right there. Fill holes, gigantic juice fill holes right there. And now it's just uh, it's just a little single coil banger, and that's the that's the coil that I've had in there this whole time. I don't have anything to put this on. Maybe I can put it on this little guy. Maybe I'll put it on this little uh, perfect, perfect. Just a little bit of overhang. Just just a little bit on this little chroma A. Just a little bit of overhang, and that's fine. 0.24 coil. Let's make sure it's glowing. This coil probably hasn't been used in, I don't know, four years. Oh, the battery's dying on this. Still glowing. That's kind of incredible. I don't know if anybody else has any like, I mean, I'm sure people have collections of vape stuff that is just sitting in a closet, sitting in a shoebox, gathering dust. I would encourage everybody out there that's a vapor, Get out your old stuff. 
give it a shot again. Try out some of your old gear. Try out some old mechs. Try out some old tanks. Chances are a lot of them are going to hold up really well. And you might just, you might be like, well, now I have five setups because I grabbed all this stuff out of storage. And now I can, you know, now I have three RTAs. Now I have five RDAs. I'm expecting good things from the Serpent Mini. I loved it absolutely empirically when I was vaping it on a regular basis. I took this tank to Texas. What was that event in Texas with the hot tub on the roof? Texas, uh, it was in uh, Dallas, Texas. Vape Showcase, I think. I think it was a vape showcase. But I'm really interested to see if this Serpent Mini kind of holds up. I just want it to be I just want it to vape good. You know, I just want it to vape well because I really loved this thing. And you never know. It might be uh it might just suddenly be terrible. I mean that happens too. I mean the odds are actually pretty good that it's gonna be a solid vape, but you never know. You never know. You might you might get something out and rebuild it or rewick it and vape it and go, yeah, what was I thinking with this thing? Good lord. This is horrific. Now I don't exactly ugh, remember how to wick this thing. Let's see, I got my cotton bacon through. And it looks like there's just two little wick wick holes what were, what were we calling those <laughs> wick holes capture my wicks right there i'm not going to do any sort of uh thinning out of cotton although i know lots of people do that i never needed to do that on the serpent mini it just always wicked like a champion yep super easy to wick these little wick catch cups are are perfect Perfect little wick catch cups. Boosh. Just like that. Maybe we'll even make a little bit of space right here. A little bit of space right here. Now, the real question is, what liquid do I put in here? Let's try. Ooh, no, no. We'll save Rip Trippers liquid for another vlog. Let's do, uh, let's go old school. Let's try some Lowrider. I haven't had Lowrider in a real long time, and it's one of my favorite, favorite liquids. It's a French liquid. It's from France. It's delicious. And and one of the things that I love about this juice so much is that Casey Pickle absolutely hates it. And I find that so fascinating when two people have such differing opu uh, you know, opinions on things. I'll love a juice. She'll hate a juice. She'll love a juice. I'll hate a juice. It's so interesting. All right, we're going to attach this tank back on there. Skadoosh. And then we're going to fill it up with some freaking lowrider. I feel like maybe I should have given this a little rinse or something before I started uh, vaping it. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure it's fine. There's no germs or bacteria that could possibly grow in here, right? Restricted lung. Love that restricted lung. All right, this is set to 44 watts. So I'm just going to give it a pull at 44 watts, and we'll see if we need to adjust from there. It's a 0.23, so I have a feeling I'll end up in like, I have a feeling I'll end up in like the 60, 50 to 60 watt range. That's what I'm guessing. You never know. 44 watts might be perfect. Cheers. Here's to you. Look at that. Serpent Mini. Still awesome. If anybody's wondering, still awesome. But I am going to put this up to about 50 watts. Yeah, we're going to do right there. 50 watts. 0.25, 50 watts. One thing that I really loved about this Serpent Mini is, besides the fact that it wicks crazy good, it's easy to build, it's easy to fill, the airflow on it was some of the smoothest airflow that I think... I had ever had at that point. It's just great. It is just a fantastic, smooth, restricted lung hit. Whew. 
flavor, flavor banger. It's a flavor banger, and I know it's not going to pair well with this beer. I just, I just needed some refreshment. Anyway, yeah, Serpent Mini, still, still vaping. I mean, and I can say this pretty confidently, it's vaping just as good as anything I have on my desk. Honestly, it's vaping, it's vaping awesome. If you have the means or the ability to get a Serpent Mini used eBay, trade someone, this, this is a good RTA. Spectacular. I love this. I am actually loving the crap out of this right now. I might leave this set up. I just wish, I wish that Serpent Mini didn't overhang on the Chroma A because otherwise that's a pretty rocking little setup. Awesome. I'm so impressed with this tank right now. Why wasn't this tank more popular than it was? The Serpent Mini, the Serpent Mini honestly right now beats the shit out of a lot of tanks that have come out like within the last year. This is better. If you're into flavor, really good airflow, restricted airflow, single coil deck, real easy to wick, real easy to fill. Only if you're into those types of vapes is this going to stand up. If you like uh, mesh, it's, 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 mesh isn't going to work in here. If you like, uh, I don't know, Genesis tanks, RDTAs, it's not going to appeal to you. But if you're an RTA person, the Serpent Mini is well, well worth your time, well worth your look. There've been, there's been a lot of, uh, pardon me, there's a burp coming. There's been a lot of uh, people I've seen on uh, on the internet, on Instagram and on Reddit that have bought really old products just because they were cheap. You know, I saw a post just the other day on the vaping subreddit where someone was someone bought a tank and is like, I know it's like two years old, but 10 bucks, I can't pass it up. And it was a great tank. If you ever see a Serpent Mini anywhere, just buy it. Just buy it without hesitation. You, you'll you dig it. This is one of the best. This is one of the most satisfying RTA. This RTA could come out today and I would still be stoked on it. God, what a great RTA. Anyway, I'm going to stop gushing now about that uh, about that Serpent Mini. All right, let me give it one more, babe. So good. So good. So stellar. All right, Serpent Mini. Dang. Well done. Good on you for holding up that long. You know, there's, it's, there's not a lot of vape gear that could really impress the shit out of me three years later. And the Serpent Mini is one of those that just literally just did. Crazy. Crazy. I saw someone in the chat mentioned Moonshot. Also a banger. If you can go pick up a Moonshot, it is a banger. Banger. And that Serpent 20 or that Serpent Mini is really just wow, impressing the crap out of me right now. So, dang, I don't know what's going to top that, but I think we can try it. I I would like to Do I have everything I need? <gasps> Oh, no, I'm just realizing something. That's okay. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Liquid tasting time. So the problem that I'm having right now is I got this peanut butter liquid. And uh, A, I don't remember the gentleman's name who sent this to me. So if you are in the chat tonight or you are watching the replay, please point yourself out and let me know and let me give you proper credit where credit is due. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Three milligram needs more peanut butter. Really excited to try this liquid. The problem is I don't have a, uh, I don't have a method to get this 
onto an RDA right now because I seem to have misplaced the cap. It comes with a little Sriracha style cap and I seems to have misplaced it. So, oh wait, I know what I can do. Hang on, I, I'll be right back. Just give me like one second. I had this uh I had this little syringe, you know, blunt plastic needle tip syringe uh in the bathroom for science reasons. <laughs> Weirdo. And I can use it. I think I can use this to drip some liquid on there uh without making too big of a mess. Hang on one more second. This is going to be dope. Did you guys see my bathroom? Can you see my bathroom in there? That's where I poo every day. That's where I voop. That's where I spend like two hours every single morning on social media. <laughs> I just need, I want to get the water out of here. All right. So now I'm going to try to put this liquid. So what we're going to be tasting this on tonight, um, I took a little bit of a departure last week with no squonker. I just used that Warlock's hammer with the original recipe recoil. But tonight we are going to do the squonker test. And if this is good enough, it might end up in this squonker. This is an SVC Fractus. Really nice, really nice 3D printed mod. This is one of the nicest 3D printed mods that I've held in my hot little hand. It's got a square squonker bottle, 21700. This is the Mike Vapes Rebirth, Rebirth, Recurve RDA, which I use for uh, for liquid tasting. So I'm going to try, without making too much of a mess, to get some of this liquid in here. And you're going to drip out the bottom, and I know it. And I should have put my finger over the bottom because it's dripping out the bottom. And now, all right, oh, just a little bit of leaking. That's okay. That's okay. This is an unorthodox method of doing this. If I would have just been smart and kept, uh, you know, kept an eye on that Sriracha tip bottle, then uh, we wouldn't be doing any of this. So, Peace out, Ruby Roo. I'll see you on uh, That's What She Said. I'm going to do just a quick knuckle test. I think I did a knuckle test last week. Ah! That is, uh... Fucking, that's too much liquid. <laughs> Good Lord. Mmm. Okay. It, it, so, here we go. First impressions of Needs More Peanut Butter... It tastes not like actual peanut butter. It's up fogging out. Not like actual peanut butter. It doesn't taste like like sweet Reese peanut butter or anything like that. It tastes like the little Debbie Nutty bars. That's exactly what this liquid tastes like upon a knuckle inspection to me is the little Debbie Nutty bars. And I'm very familiar with this taste because... Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Help! Yeah, this is a bad idea, Nick. This is a bad idea. I just need to get enough to just vape a little bit. Just be careful. Just be careful, bro. There you go. Now you're getting the hang of it. When we were on tour, um, when we were on the, the first vape tour, which, yes, there is going to be a second vape tour. I just I'm trying not to think about it right now because it's a lot of work to organize and execute. But there is going to be another vape tour. And when we were on the first vape tour, one of the staple rations that we needed in the RV was lots of Little Debbie Nutty Bars. In fact, I think between Tucson, Arizona and Colorado, Denver, Colorado, uh, Dwayne and I just demolished boxes of Little Debbie Nutty Bars. 
It was like, that's all there was to eat in the RV. You want, you want a nutty bar? Yeah. <laughs> so we ate a lot of nutty bars. And it's going, and it's going. All right. So let's make this easier. Let's put a top cap on, and then I don't have to worry about being so, so messy. Airflow is open. I'm going to blast some juice through the top here. Okay. We're doing good. We're making this work, even though I didn't think it would work. We are actually making this work. So here we go. This is Needs More Peanut Butter. And again, I apologize. I got this last week in the vlog, and I don't remember the gentleman's name that sent this to me. If you're here tonight, please identify yourself. If you're here on the replay, please identify yourself down in those comments below because I would like to give you proper credit where credit is due. Needs more peanut butter. Ready? Let's have, a, let's have the inaugural toot, as it were. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this first. Okay, enough of that, enough of that hold music. So here's where we're landing on the peanut butter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just not doing it for me. When I taste it on my knuckle, it tastes great. It tastes like a nutty bar. Like I said, it tastes like peanut butter, Swedish, it's not Swedish, but sweet-ish peanut butter. But on the vape, it doesn't translate well into the vape. When I vape it, oh, let me give it another toot here. Collect my thoughts a little bit. When I vape it, it suddenly does not taste like peanut butter at all anymore. It tastes like well-cooked popcorn kernels like when you're popping popcorn and you're like oh i put it in for three minutes instead of two minutes so they're all just a tiny little bit burnt just like a tiny little bit burnt not not black not destroyed but just just a little bit of char a little bit a little overcooked popcorn that's the only way I can describe this juice. Juice. Liquid. It's the only way I can describe this liquid is initially I get a little bit of peanut butter. I vape it and I go, oh, there's peanut butter. And then it's gone. And all the rest of the inhale and all of the exhale kind of just tastes like burnt popcorn. This could be burnt popcorn juice. No, don't be offended by this. Whoever sent this to me, I apologize. Tastes, whatever. It's all subjective, right? Who, who gives a shit? Vape what you want to vape. To me, it kind of tastes like burnt popcorn. Ooh. 
which which means it's not going to make it into the bottle this week. So that means this Fractus mod just gets to sit here on my desk and mock me for another week saying, ah, you can't use me because that peanut butter juice tasted like burnt popcorn. Ah. Kind of just tastes like burnt popcorn. Someone in the chat recommended a lower wattage. I'm on board for that. Let's try a lower wattage. Let's give this liquid every opportunity that it has to shine brightly like a diamond. But I mean, the fact of the matter is, it might just not be a juice for me. Juice. Fucking, fucking, fuck. Liquid. How come I cannot do that? How come I can't change that one simple word in my life? Uh, it's a point two two, so I'm going to set this to uh, right around. Let's go back down to 50. We're going to put this nicely down at 50 watts. How about 51 watts? 0 0.22, 50 watts, 3.3 volts. Let's give it another try. I, no, it's just, it's just how it tastes. It just tastes like burnty popcorn. And I don't want to say burnt, like burnt, crispy burnt popcorn. But it is real, real, real overcooked popcorn. Real overcooked popcorn. Why aren't you vaping? No, here we go. 0 0.22 at 40 watts. That's only 2.8 volts. Maybe. Better. Whoever said lower the wattage, way better. It actually does have a little bit of peanut butter characteristic to it now. Yeah, that's way better. Who said lower the wattage? You're a genius. I'm actually getting, it still is pretty popcorny. Popcorny. <laughs> but I still, I still get the popcorny. But I do get a little bit more of that peanut butter characteristic in here. If this was something other than just peanut butter, like if it was peanut butter and chocolate or peanut butter and some sort of jelly jam situation, raspberry preserves or something like that, I think they would play off each other and complement each other really well. As it stands, it's a little bit peanut butter, mostly burnt popcorn. Mostly burnt popcorn, unfortunately. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry needs more peanut butter, but this label still remains true. It it just it just needs more peanut butter. It needs more peanut butter and less burnt popcorn. I don't know what your ratio is in this, but uh, it's a little burnt popcorny. But regardless, I appreciate the gesture. I appreciate the liquid. I'm sorry it's not the liquid for me. If it's the liquid for you, then dude, keep vaping it. Anyway, moving on from that, let's get into our, uh, dang, we are screaming through this vlog. I have time to do, I have time to do favorite comments of the week and super chat. So let's do that. Where's my favorite comments of the week bumper? Boosh. So here we go. Favorite comments of the week. I've been I've been saving these up for like two weeks now. First favorite comment of the week, and I have to give a shout out to uh, to. Uh, well, I'm an asshole. Uh, one of my patrons, whose name is escaping me at the moment. Son of a bitch. He, he's been helping me with the favorite comments of the week. He's been going through and doing some screen captures for me. Should I just look on my Patreon? <laughs> I really feel like I need to give this guy proper credit. Where are you? Where did you go? No. No. I'll recognize the name as soon as I see it. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy, thank you, Jeremy. 
Thank you, Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy V. Thank you, Jeremy V. First favorite comment of the week uh, from Lizard commented and said, do you still have that The Duke mod? I would love to see the retro vaping segment on that. Um, I do still have my Duke mod. I don't know exactly where it is right now, but I'm sure I could find it out there. I'm sure I could find it. There are a bunch of boxes that I do need to go through um, to pull out some old retro vapey mods and things. And I'll make an honest effort for you lizard to find that Duke and do a retro vaping on it because it was ahead of its time. The Duke came out before the hexome. So let's just put that in your pipe and smoke it. Here we go. Favorite comment of the week. This one's going to cover me up. That's okay. Pat, uh, just to say, I'm sub to your channel for a long time now, Grim Green, but the last few videos and vlogs you have done, I'm not getting notifications anymore. Yes, my bell is set and I've reset it, but there, are, but are YouTube hiding people's videos now? Just asking because I only came across this by actually searching myself. Great show as usual. Oh, I'm in Ireland and like suck my mod, you should visit also. Yeah, look, I'll come back to Ireland. No problem, I'll come back to Ireland. I loved Ireland. I've been dying, dying to go back to Ireland, bro. Dying to go back to Ireland. And yeah, you know, YouTube, YouTube is just, uh, what is happening? Oh, God. Oh, God. Where did my camera go? My, my camera's gone. Oh, what the hell? Did my camera die? My camera died. happens you just power through and uh maybe my camera will come back on if not i do have a backup camera that i'm sure we could use it's just gonna look like garbage butt it's just gonna look like garbage butt in fact i'm naming it garbage butt uh let's try this one nope you're not gonna work Oh, you are. Okay. So the rest of the vlog is going to be in terrible mode. That's what I call this camera. This is terrible mode. <laughs> Ooh, here, would it help if I put a fisheye on? Oh, there we go. Now, is that too disorienting? Yeah, that is. That's sorry. That's, is that too much? <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Welcome back to the vlog in terrible mode. Oh, Sony. Oh, you, you fucking Sony. This is the mother of all dangle clacks. But you know what? We're at the end of the vlog. We're just going to power through. I'm not going to yeah. be able to see my face during favorite comments of the week, and that's okay. Here's another one. Nick, I don't want to say the word juice anymore. Total juice count 18. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I don't know why I can't. I don't know why I can't correct that word, that one word in my life. life. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Another favorite comment of the week. Oh, I can't read this one. This one's way too long. I love Nick to death. Always have, but he thinks the higher resistance coils cause battery drain faster than lower resistance coils because the voltage needs to power a 0.15 coil. Oh, yes. This man, he was, Mike was correcting me on something that I have been wrong about, like basically my whole YouTube career. Um, he, he says... Okay, so the, the, the gist of this is that I was operating under the assumption that uh, higher resistance coils drained your battery slower or faster than lower resistance co coils, but that's not true because lower resistance coils need higher amperage, which drains your battery faster than a higher resistance. I keep looking at the wrong camera. Than a higher resistance coil would. I really just put this on here to thank Mike uh, for being so nice and respectful about this and, and correcting this in information. I'm a person that if I'm doing something wrong, then let me know because I don't want to be doing things the wrong way. I have no problem being told I'm wrong or being told that I need to be corrected because I will correct it uh, as soon as I possibly can. So thank you. Thank you, Mike, for that. Got one here from Timothy. I would think the tasting the mentholiest juice on your finger might have messed with your taste buds before trying the Phil Basardo device. device. Yes, that is, uh, that's almost 100% what happened, and I keep looking at the wrong camera again. Should we just give it a try? Let's see if the Sony's working again. Nope. Cool. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. 
Are you going to come back for me, Sony? Or do we have to keep using that? All right, let's keep just... using this one. Uh, yeah. The... Oh, it's back. Hey, look at that. Um, this, I did. I tasted the mentholious juice, those icicles from Craving Vapor, um, and it did. It messed with my taste buds before I tried that Z-Bip because I tried the Z-Bip way later that night. In fact, I gave it to Casey Pickle for her to try, and she's like, this thing's fucking awesome. And she's just vaping it and vaping it. I'm like really? And so I took it back from her and I was like, oh, okay. It is actually fairly awesome. I, I'm sorry. I should not have traced, tasted the mentholiest menthol juice on my finger before I, tr I said juice again. <sighs> someday, Nick, someday, uh, final favorite comment of the week from fix. I don't know if this is still active, uh, they said, glad you enjoyed the care package, Nick. Here's a 20% off promo code for your viewers. Use GG20 at fixvapor.com. I, again, again, I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that code is still active, but fix threw it out there. GG20. If you want to go pick up a fix, pick up a fix with a 20%, uh, 20% discount, which is fantastic. So there you go. We limped through favorite comments of the week, which now means it's time to... <sighs> Why can't I find it? Super chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. The dangle clacks. Like this camera, this camera, this camera, this camera. Look at the difference between this webcam and this Sony, that's unbelievable to me. Maybe we'll just stick with maybe we'll stick with garbage cam for a while. No, I'm just kidding. Let's do uh, let's do the super chat, you guys. I appreciate uh, I appreciate the super chat as always. I love that you guys come hang out with me. And uh, I've said this before. I will continue to say it probably for the rest of my YouTubing life. Vlog day is my favorite. It's just my favorite. It's just my favorite. Logan, very gracious of you, sir. How much watts? How much watts? That is a really, really old inside joke, Logan. How did you hear that? Were you listening to old Culture of Clouds podcast episodes? Vaping with Ken. Very gracious of you, bro. Alpha big, alphabetty spaghetti. It's vlog day. Are you ready? So ready, Ken. So ready. And I don't know if you noticed, but Logan, he kind of he snuck up on you there with the first super chat of the night. Tony. Bro, thank you. Very gracious of you, bro. You are shouted out. Eifer, that stout looks so good. Me wanty. Eifer, sorry. This one's all for me. And it is, Eifer. It's so good. Travis, very gracious of you. Yo, yo, I love the live vlog and all you do for vaping. Travis, thank you very much, bro. Everything I do for vaping, everything I do, everything. It's a labor of love and it's... It's to get vaping fucking accepted. That's why I do it. I do it for smokers. I think every smoker deserves to vape and every vape every vapor deserves the best vape that they can get. And that's why I do it, Travis. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Mr. Sinister, very cool donation. Appreciate that. Nick, this is for some ginkgo biloba to improve your memory. Does that really work? Does ginkgo biloba work? Because let me tell you, I've been on the uh, lion's mane mushroom supplements for like three months now, and I've noticed that it does help me improve my like cognizance of, of, of focusing on things. I would like something to help me improve my memory. I would like it to improve my memory. Thank you, Mr. Sinister. I'm going to look up to, I'm going to get, I'm going to spend that money on ginkgo biloba. ST's original hip. <laughs> Very gracious of you. Pair it with a shot of wild turkey 101. N no, sir. I will pass. From now on, for the rest of my life, I am I am not taking any more shots. Taking shots ended when I turned 40. No 40-year-old 40 should be taking shots. I just I drank way too much for way too many years, and I can't do shots anymore. Shots. You guys are going to do shots? Eh, maybe. Maybe I'll have a wild turkey shot. Appreciate that. Vaping with Ken, very gracious of you. You aren't a craft beer fan until you drink craft cheese beer, because craft cheese, you know. Hi, Nick. I love the 510 report craft. <laughs> Ken, 
Damn it, Ken. You're like a sidekick. You're like my comedy relief. I need more Ken in my life. Appreciate that, brother. Shaylock, very appreciative. Didn't say anything. Shaylock, you are shouted out. Along with Mike Garrido. I'm just going to say it that way. It's, it's probably wrong. No words, just a shout out. That's what you get, Mike. Mr. Ambivalent Chaos. Yo, yo, Nick got the Grim Army hoodie. So rad. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad you got it. Uh, I wish I had more. I don't know if I told the whole hoodie story here on this vlog yet, but my hoodies at NVE were just a nightmare. And a bunch of the employees from the Mohegan Sun Casino stole 25 of my hoodies. Ah, no big deal, right? It's whatever. I just got 25 hoodies stolen from me from the casino. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Eifer, appreciate that. New name idea for Namber Juice, Namber Fam Vape Co. Dude, I'm in. I'm in. We need to change that name. We need to do something. Namber Fam Vape Co. sounds awesome. The Bone Zone. The Bone Zone is here. I Thank you, Bone Zone. I appreciate you. Thoughts on SMM's upcoming RDA? Here's the thing. I don't know anything about it. My trust in Matt is very high. I haven't loved everything he's released, but I've liked most of the stuff that Matt has released. Here's the thing. Matt is really smart. He's just a really smart guy, and he thinks in interesting ways. He thinks in really unique ways, and he is more than anybody in the vape community. And this is a this is a non-arguable subject. Matt is the biggest vape nerd of all of the vape nerds. And I'm just going to sh share this quick story as an example. ECC recently, don't remember which one. I think it was the last one we were at in Ontario. We, a lot of us were outside at the squad house having a little bit of cannabis cast, you know, passing that cannabis cast around. We we're having a great time, just hanging out, talking, being awesome. I go inside to use the restroom and I walk by the kitchen and standing in the kitchen are Matt, Jabo, and Daniel DJ LSB Vapes. And they're in there and Matt's holding up like an RDA and he's like, if the airflow comes in like from the side bottom area, I think you'd get a lot more. Stop. Stop it. You're off work. <laughs> You're off work. Come hang out and not sit in here and re-engineer an atomizer in the kitchen. Jabo, Matt, and Daniel DJ LSB Vapes are the three biggest vape nerds, and Matt is their king. And he just he thinks in such a such a smart, like interesting, unique way. I'm really interested, regardless if I like it or not, it, it's gonna be a unique product, and I'm 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 interested to try it. I just want to try it. I just want to try it. So the Bone Zone, appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming over. Lane, no words requested, but Boosh, you get a shout out right there, Lane. Very gracious of you. James, Nick, huge shout out to you and your dad. Thank you very much, James. Uh, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I'm going to be, uh, I, I told this to my patrons, uh, I'm going to be opening up some spots on my Patreon. I keep it capped off, I don't know, kind of for a reason, I guess. But I am going to be opening up some more spots. And, and I was telling this to my patrons. And I have a whole video on my Patreon right now explaining this. But I, I'm not opening up more spots simply because I want more money. I am opening up more spots simply because I want more money. But I don't want that money for me. I, 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 pay, I give my dad um, basically living expenses. And I do that every month. And... It just gets to be a lot and my finances aren't super great, but I'm still trying to help provide and I'm opening up some more patron spots to hopefully maybe take some of that burden away and it's just so it's a little bit easier to help provide for my dad just because it's really hard. I'm trying to get him down here in LA to be closer to me, but he's up in Santa Rosa right now. He's 71 and has had Parkinson's for 20 years. He still is determined to work. I, I'm just trying to to make his life a little bit easier and I'm going to do that obviously the best way I can uh, from LA and that's why I'm opening some more spots on my Patreon. It's not going to be a lot. It's probably going to be 10 spots in each tier and then that's it and it's going to be capped off again. 
Maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'll make an announcement when those spots are open, if anybody's interested. Obviously, no pressure. You still get all of my content free, free of charge, free of charge. But I, I very much appreciate that, James. Thank you for shouting out, my dad. Um, ZS Benedict, yo, yo, I love the live vlogs. ZS, I always see you here. I really appreciate you, bro. You, you are shouted out in the biggest of ways. Vape and Case, you're the man, bro, Siv. Can I get a shout out for my guy, Grim Green? No. What if I did that? That would be terrible. Vapen Case, of course you're shouted out. 100% of this shout out is going to Vapen Case. Eifer, that mech would hurt, especially with the weight of the batteries. Yeah, it's like a baton. You could just bludgeon someone with it. 30 lashes with a wet noodle as a penance for saying the J word. I know. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to do my best. And the Sony camera's gone, so we're going back to shit cam. Let's turn this down. Maybe that helps. Yeah, it definitely helps. It's whatever. Sony just dies. It's fine. We're at the end. Ah, Eifer, I appreciate you, man. Thomas Crow, that is my absolutely favorite donut flavor, and they have adult branding, and Angela is super happy you like the stickers. I don't just like the stickers, Thomas Crow. I love these stickers, and you are good at picking liquids because I'm looking at the wrong camera again. This liquid, top-notch. Top-notch donut. Top-notch donut. I'm going to give it another, another toot here. Good stuff. Thank you, Thomas Crow. Vape and case. Loving the Turk V2 with some Turkish maize on the Vindicator. That is a great vape. That's a great vape. My Turk V2 lived on my Vindicator, lived on my Vindicator before it ended up on my Hexome. Great vape. Uh, vaping with Ken, paying $2 to say, I love Cotton Bacon Prime. Yeah, it's Cotton Bacon Prime. It's it's the it's the best. I mean, it's my favorite cotton like that I've ever used, ever. And I'm not just saying that. I, I would buy this stuff by the case. I love cotton bacon. Well done. Eifer. Responsible Nick is best Nick. Yes. Thank you. Wrong camera. Yes. I know. I should be testing all those on, on regulated mods, but sometimes I just get too impatient and I have to test it on a, on a, on a Mac. Anyway. Ar Aranu? Aranu? All right. Finally, I can see you live. Greetings from Spain. It's 2.50 a.m. here. Hopefully you can come anytime. I know Kent and Turk are going to come to Madrid. You should too. Holy crap. 2.50 a.m. Go to bed. What are you doing? This is on a replay. You could watch this anytime you want. I really appreciate that though. Really appreciate that. You are shouted out Aranu. Um, I'm not going to make it to Spain, unfortunately. Turk invited me, but my schedule just doesn't line up with those travel dates. I would love, love to get to Spain. Joey, Joe Vengeance, very gracious of you. Nick sent you a mess uh, on IG 5050 12 milligrams. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, uh, I haven't seen that DM. I will check my DMs on Instagram though, Joe. Appreciate that very much. Sick boy. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Uh, it's the little things, sir. Never forget. I know. It is the little things. Roll that beautiful bean footage. ZS Benedict again. Hey, Nick, would you want a tugboat V1? Um, no. Keep that for yourself. You retro vape that. I have two tugboat V1s, and one is just waiting to get a retro vaping at some point. It's going to happen soon. I want to send you stuff and things. Where do I send them vaping with Ken? Um... I'll, I'll just email you my P.O. box. I got a P.O. box. I'll send you my P.O. box, fella. I appreciate that. Oh, wait, we got Joe back again. Joe, where'd you go, Joe? Joe. Joe again? All right, we are going along with the Super Chats. We, we got to cut this off before uh, that's what she said and the vape team come on. Here we go. I'll send you a couple of peanut butter flavors for you to try along with 12 milligram 50, 50 should be. Okay. I will Joe. I will definitely 100% get back to you. Very gracious of you. I will shout you out as well. One more, uh, Washington state passed a tax that could put many small businesses out of business. Anyone in Washington state, please send emails to representative McEwen. He supports vaping. We need governor Isley to not sign the bill. Representative McEwen. I'm just going to drop that name, uh, in the chat. Just because I feel like that would be a little bit more helpful. But if you're in Washington, hit that guy up. Yeah, you know, Washington State is passing taxes. Colorado is passing taxes and floor taxes. And I keep looking at the wrong camera. Vermont just banned online sales. Was anybody aware of that? Just happened. Just voted. 
30 to zero to ban all online sales in Vermont. So heart goes out to the vapors of Vermont. I hope you can still get your vape gear. Uh, Compta Pinton. Pinton? I, I don't know how to say your name, but I appreciate that. You're a very much shouted out. JJ, we're doing Blue Russians for our derby party. The Kentucky Derby is on Star Wars Day this year. Also, my KBS for the Disney pod, saving my KBS for the Disney podcast. All right. So, JJ, uh, JJ runs a podcast called Philosopop. I think that's the name of it. Philosopop Podcast. And I'm going to go on their podcast very soon. I've been on their podcast a few times. Great guys. They're doing a Disney podcast. And I am uh, 100% on board with that. Appreciate that, JJ. Save that KBS. Savor it. Just wanted to say, yo, yo, much love. Not the real Gerard Butler. Bro, thank you. Boosh, you're shouted out 100 times. Zach, can't hide from black licorice menthol forever. <laughs> it's going to happen, Pizza Beard. It'll happen. Black licorice menthol. It It'll happen. I'll vape it at some point. Um, Mr. USA Vapor, your vlog day is definitely my favorite day. It's my favorite day, too. Thursdays are the best days. It's the busiest day of my life, but I love it. I love Thursdays. I love the vlog day. Thank you, Mr. USA Vapor. Here, boom, there's a fist bump. Shout out. Bump that fist. Logan? It was between that and hashtag vodka pockets. Yeah, vodka pockets is a real old, uh, old culture of clouds joke. <laughs> Appreciate that, Logan. Uh, Viva really are the best paper towels. Jordan, yes. Fucking thank you. Vivas. Vivas all day long. That's all I. That's all I use is Vivas. I was gonna say that's all I vape, but that doesn't make much sense. 1965 Sparkle. Hashtag I'm so sleepy. Thanks for the fun time. All my pleasure. As much fun as you guys are having, I'm having a great time. You having a good time? Having a great time. J Mod, so happy the 510 is back. Don't get me wrong, I love the vlog, but I absolutely love staying up to date on the industry. Hashtag vaping saves lives. Yeah. The 510 report, besides the vlog, the 510 report is my favorite, most satisfying, most fulfilling content that I do. I've done, I've spent 10 years doing just products and products and products and products, and I love it. But the 510 report, the 510 report, I find personally satisfying. It fulfills my creativeness and it fulfills my soul. And I just love the 510 report. There's a new one up. You should definitely go check it out. There is a lot, lot going on right now in the vaping world. It's bananas. It's bananas. Appreciate that, J Mod. 1965 Sparkle. I'm just going to say your name like that every time, if that's okay. For dad. Oh, very gracious of you. Thank you so much. Uh, I lost my dad four years ago this week. Cherish every day that you have. Damn it. You're going to make me start sobbing here, 1965 Sparkle. I do. I do. And thank you. I do. And thank you. Um, and my dad thanks you as well. Eifer, appreciate you too. You didn't have to. Eifer, Eifer, you're one of the good ones. Just because I have a massive love for Nick Green, I will always be here watching and advocating. Dr. Pencil Vepia, I recognize your American flag avatar no matter where I am. On YouTube, every time I get on YouTube, I see some notification from Dr. Pencil Vapia. Just comments all over the place. Really appreciate you, bro. Thank you. K, would love to see you testing the all- resident vapor giant tanks i don't quite know what that means but is there an all resin vapor giant tank that i'm not aware of i'm gonna look into this for you k i appreciate that vaping with ken one more time my dad is battling cancer oh my god i'm so sorry i know family is important can't do patreon but this is for your dad our dads instill so many values in us keep him close much love thank you ken god you're gonna make me all weepy you're going to make me all weepy, Ken, and I appreciate that very much. Richard Burton, I take care of my grandfather who's 84, so here's a little something for your pops. Bro, thank you so much. You don't have to do that. I really appreciate that, Richard. Richard Burton, you are shouted out. It, things are getting a little bit too emo right now. Poon Sauce, McNasty, thank you for, for breaking, the, breaking the cycle there. Love you, Grim. Keep fighting the good fight. Poon Sauce, 
I don't know where I'd be without you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And finally, finally, G Stav. Yo, sent you a message on the stream IG. I would love your thoughts. Hello from Sweden, by the way. 3.42 a.m. here. And don't skip the build segment. Really? Should I not be skipping the build segment? Because that felt like it was just dragging and dragging and dragging and dragging. But, hell, I'll leave it in. G Stav, thank you very much. Very gracious of you, G Stav. Really appreciate that. So, all right. Now that we're at the end, Eifer. One more super chat for your dad. Thank you, Eifer. Thank you, Eifer, so much. The, the generosity and, and the kindness from you guys just blows me away on a constant basis. And it's inspiring to me as a human. You're all wonderful people. Cheers. Here's the last of the beer to you. Yeah. Done. Fuck that KBS is good. All right, guys. Well, we are way over time as per usual. That's what she said. And the vape team start in about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to take one quick look. I think I got everything I need to. I think we packed it all in this vlog. We just jammed it in there. So anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This is where we're going to end the stream tonight. Sorry we're ending on the garbage cam, but you know what? Dangle clacks happen, and, and you have no choice but to adapt and move forward. So one last burp. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much for coming out. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this guy. And I'm just going to vape my freaking face off while I clean up and watch some entertainment on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. Thank you one last time so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic night. And I will see you guys back here next Thursday. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, you guys, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.